really my fault. Oh, shit. Okay. I don't know. Just joining us, we're here in San Francisco. We're here at the Embarcadero for Black Lives Matter, the Million March San Francisco. Hi. And we got the live stream up. Thanks for joining us. Looking forward to a day of protest. We do have massive police presence here. So you guys going to walk over? I'm just kind of hanging out from the outside of the protest at the moment. I got one. I'm going to eat it in a little bit. It should... Uh, it should uh, enhance my uh, my mental state. Yeah, vitamin C always does. Deep thoughts, <laughs> yeah. Oh, we got a little youngster. He's going to join us in protest today. It looks like. Peace out. So we got a good crowd here. It looks like there's about 500 people from across the street here, and we got about 200 cops. I saw them all the way on the way down. Uh, they're probably out because of what happened at the Black Friday uh, shut it down uh, protest uh, where uh, naturally the police always start to violence. Anyway, we're going to take a walk over. We're getting ready to start. Uh, cool. Hey guys, had to forgive me, I'm a little slow today. crowd here today, about 500 people I guess. We're here for Black Lives Matter, this is your live streamer, Free Man Sullivan. I was watching protests today, we had San Diego in the house, Durham, North Carolina, New York of course, D.C., Ferguson, Missouri, uh, lots of live streamers out and about. If you'd like to uh, know where the live streams are happening, you can uh, Check out uh, stream. Let's see, uh, stream team at stream team, and uh, you get a list of all the protesters here for Black Lives Matters. For all, excuse me, for all the live streamers that are out here. Right, naturally, we got the RCP. Boo! Right, we can barely tolerate them. They're always promoting their cause. So we're out here just to show you, blocking the Embarcadero. Got a little dye in here.
Let's try to keep the RCP out of the picture here. Holiday. Hi, Dolores. Good to see you here. Oh, yeah. We have Dolores Huerta here, <laughs> longtime activist. I remember when she was uh, assaulted at the uh, Casper Weinberger protest back in 1985, and the cops went after her. For, uh, she's a very effective activist with U, uh, UFW, uh, also a comrade of Cesar Chavez. Remember you were telling me about James? If you find out anybody that witnessed that... Yeah, yeah, I had his lawyer call me yesterday. Yeah, okay, yeah, so yeah, you I saw know him who to contact. Him. Yeah, 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 Paul. Paul they Kangas. Find a witness. Yeah. It's all on video. On stream, so. That's okay. Yeah. Oh. We're not talking specifics about the case. Well, it's okay. I'll just <laughs> throw right. one out there. I wouldn't let you say anything if I thought it was... No, 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 no. no, no we're, looking for, we're looking for a witness or something that happened to a friend of ours. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we all support Code for MSF. I told him personally to stay away from, from protesting because of uh, his case. I'll turn it off. Hold on, I'm going to turn the sound off for just a second. Shouldn't talk about it. Oh, that's okay. I know you care about. It. We all care about uh, Code for MSF. I, mean, I, I I'd almost like to tell that story almost to someone who'd listen. I said, We're out here at the uh, Embarcadero, the Prairie Building here in San Francisco, because Black Lives Matter. Black and brown bodies, organization, CSU. We're going to leave the march. Getting ready to leave the march. I want to move on down here a little bit ahead of the march. How's the guys doing? It's good to see all the young faces here today. Lots of young faces. Hey, hey, what's up? Good to see you. Oh, yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. I'm living the quiet life over in Oakland now. Yeah. Yeah, it's good to see all the Occupy. All the, uh, Occupy. Oh, yeah. We're still we still around. We didn't get this many people out on the street. Well, we did. We did. We did. We did. We did. And then these guys were there. Oh yeah, we, we got the numbers too. There's the water, she got arrested. Oh yeah. We're getting ready to take off with the march here. So I want to try to keep up with the march as long as I can, guys. I am getting old and my health is not the best. But uh, we'll do what we can. So don't get mad at me if I decide to stop the live stream. So I would imagine Answer is one of the sponsors of today's protest. Uh, this one uh, here in San Francisco, uh, definitely not about Al Sharpton or the uh, any of the uh, quote liberal groups. This is more radical in San Francisco being a more radical city. Black Lives Matter! Brown Lives Matter! Brown Lives Matter! All Lives Matter! Hey, Charlie. Good to see you. Yeah, just got here. Supposed to meet some people here, but anyway. 
any idea. Like, I, I saw so many cops waiting over there. You ever seen that many cops waiting? No. Before a protest, I never have. Well, that's because of all that's been going on with the. Uh, and every single one of the cops was right. Like, there were like probably 50 of them, not one was black. Oh, there's Tommy. No justice, no hey, Tommy. Peace. Hey, Tommy. Hey, Tommy. No justice, no peace. So we got a good crowd, I'd say, about no 500 peace. people. No justice, yeah, really? no peace. Yeah, yeah, just be careful when you say you're on the live stream. No, no justice, no peace. Yeah, I was at, uh, I was at James's hearings to get him out of jail. Uh -huh. No justice. Which James? Right? Jenison. No justice. No justice. Yeah, they're trying to, they're really, they're really trying to get him. Uh-huh. Assault on a police officer. Oh, right, right. A battery. This is literally the beginning of the march, right? Yeah. It was good in D.C. They took the mic away from uh, Al Sharpton's people. Some of the Ferguson people showed up, and they were pissed that they weren't asked to speak, right? That they were. So they took over the stage. Yay for Ferguson, bro. All right, so I'm going to try and move with the march here. Okay, okay. I'll talk to you later, Charlie. Good to see you. Yeah, take care. Will do. I usually know all the protesters, not everybody, but most of them. I've been doing this for 40 years, folks. So. So this march is scheduled to go to Civic Center Plaza, where there'll be more speakers. So I'm going to try and keep up with it. If not, I'll just. So you're walking well. Trying to. Walking tall. I took, a, took enough painkillers to where I don't feel I don't feel a thing right now. Connect the dots. Connect the dots. It's good. A lot of new faces here today. A lot of young people. We like that. Even if, they, even if they are supporting our city Don't shoot! Don't shoot!
Hey, how you doing? No peace. No peace. Speak no of the, peace. Speak of Santa Claus. No peace. Proceeding at a nice slow pace so I can keep up. See how many cops that we have escorting us right now. We can see at least 200 cops, I count it. Let's see if we got any trolls on here. Hey guys. Thank you. Now we're in San Francisco. Just looking at my chats. Hey Perso. I just realized you have this wonderful skull jacket. One of the things we did uh, a long time ago was the uh, you know the giant pile of skulls in, uh, in uh, Cambodia? Right. There's a 
mountain of skulls. It looks kind of like the buffalo skulls that, would, that they did in uh, Wyoming. Right. Anyway, there's this guy dusting off, one of, holding one of the skulls and dusting it off. And behind him is this huge mass of skulls that were Paul, Paul Potts victims. Do you remember? Remember Mr. Paul Potts? Oh, yeah. Anyway, I'll, I'll give you a card because we have a thousand of them. Okay. Human rights, man. These kids, yeah, I like their energy. What do we want? Justice! What do we want? Now! What do we want? Justice! 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 Justice!
Hey, how you doing? Hey, I haven't seen Sarah here, have you? Sarah said she was going to be here. That's why I get on the subway. Hey, how you doing? So I guess I'm really happy with the turnout today. Although personally, I feel like militant demonstrations are uh, more effective because it, it makes the capitalists uh, listen. On a demonstration like this, the capitalists can pretty much ignore it and say, oh, well, there's just a bunch of people marching down the street. But when we actually take action and shut down freeways and things like that, it, well, then it becomes out of the norm. Right, Atisha. I think it's her name, yeah. Atisha James. This is, big. this is the biggest one in San Francisco. Yeah, I'm wondering what Oakland's like. I don't, that's kind of starting. I'm not going to make the second one. I'm lucky to make it down Market Street. I, I think that San Francisco one, people are trying to pump the signal. San Francisco is dead and dead. Oh, no, we don't have a large black population here. So puny. It's a good turnout. I saw Nancy and I saw somebody from somebody else, but I haven't seen other people like Jeffrey. Oh, he's here. I saw him. He's up towards the front of the mark. Talking about our occupiers, or used to be Occupy. By the way, if you're in San Francisco and you want to get involved, in activist politics, uh, you can show up for our Occupy Action at Occupy San Francisco Action Council meetings. Uh, they're at 125 Golden Gate at Leavenworth here in San Francisco on Sundays from 2 to 4 p.m. In case you're wondering why you don't see more people of color, is that San Francisco is only 8% African American. They've been driven out by gentrification here, much like I have, and I live in Oakland now. So. Beautiful winter day here in San Francisco. It's about 57, 58 degrees. We're breaking our Stormageddon. Pardon me. March here, so I guess I'll turn around. So yeah, I guess there's about a thousand people here. <laughs> and we're marching down Market Street. 
at Sansom here in San Francisco. Hey, hon, if you turn your camera around a little, like I have mine, you get a better field of vision. I saw that thing that holds the camera for you. Yeah. Yeah, it helps. <laughs> anyway, she didn't hear me. But I hate these people. I don't hate them, but, you know, they shoot their videos, you know, uh, with the uh, phone straight up and down, and you get a keyhole video. So... By the way, if you're interested in learning about some of the nuances about live streaming, uh, how to keep yourself safe, how to safeguard your data, how to deal with trolls, uh, these issues and many others, um, I'm going to be teaching uh, classes in January at KPFA. So uh, just call up KPFA and uh, local radio station, uh, listener support it. Sorry about the cameraman Chicky. I'm just talking to the people on our live stream. They're watching right now. Everybody looks at you kind of funny when you're talking to the camera. Making our way, uh, we're at Montgomery and Market Street.
get back out in the street here in a minute. So we're here at Kearney Market here in San Francisco. This is your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan. Thanks a lot for watching. Part of a nationwide day of protest because Black Lives Matter. And you can see all the cops we got here in San Francisco blocking us from going up to Union Square. Oh no, you can't interrupt the holiday season. It's too inconvenient for the shoppers. Oh yeah, there you go. So I guess three deep, four deep here.
figured him out. Like you were on the left of the Coming up into the busiest part of San Francisco, up here by Powell and Market. I'm trying to grab a seat whenever I can. The cops are on the move here, putting on their stupid ride helmets. They're vadering up, that's the word I like to use nowadays. Vadering up. Vadering. Oh well, yeah, because they look like Darth Vader nowadays, right? Yeah, Vadering up. So you know who the evil guys are. They're the ones wearing the helmets, folks. And while there might be a few good cops, 
The whole bunch is rotten. Please come towards the center of the street. I think it's just because they're coming and bringing up the rear. Diane down here at Power Market here in San Francisco. For those of you just joining us. For those of you that don't know San Francisco, this is the busiest corner in San Francisco. Over uh, 150,000 people go by this corner every day. It's the uh, busiest corner west of the Mississippi. No, those guys aren't part of the protest. Down the civic 
center. Kurt Frame, I was just talking to. Uh, he's got a stream up uh, on Ustream at Kurt Frame SF. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Sorry. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Hey, Merry Christmas to you, brother. Good to see you, Merry Christmas. How's things at the hotel? They transferred me. Uh, I got assaulted. Oh no! Yeah, one of the neighborhood guys came in and uh, punched me and uh, threw a weapon out, a gun out. Me. So yeah, they, they sent me to another hotel. Oh, I'm glad to see you. All right. Yeah. Not every day you run into a man, man, and make it. You know? Oh no! As you can see. Crazy. I know my life is so much more peaceful. You know, like I told you, that place is just basically a dump off way for crazy people. It's good to see peaceful I like the I like the ones that are a little more, a little more proactive. I think they have more of an effect. But this is good for people that are scared. You know, although. Uh, with all these cops around, I don't feel that safe. Yeah. I feel less safe. Definitely. A lot of people got frustration in us. Oh yeah, they're killing people. Every time we turn around, somebody's getting killed, you know? You know, I don't know what's wrong with the police, but, you know, we all know where the police got their start from, right? And that was from catching slaves, uh, fugitive slaves. That's how the police department got its start in America. So, you know, when you got to an institution that's rotten at the core, um, you know, at the very beginning. Right? It's never about protecting truth, except for the 1%. All right, well, it's good seeing you, bro. Happy holidays, man. You be safe. All right, back out on the march. That was the old manager of the building I used to live in. He had the thankless job of managing a SRO here in San Francisco that housed a lot of the homeless. That he got threatened on his job. Sorry if the camera's a little shaky, folks. I'm barely able to walk and I'm trying to keep it together. The Bay Area has really been rocking with protests. Every night, except for uh, even Thursday, there was a bike protest over in Oakland. Yeah, yeah. Fortunately, yeah. when people started to leave, you know, the cops being jerks that they are, were ticketing people for, you 
know, a little minor shit, right? A minor shit. And then they wonder why people don't like them, you know? <laughs> you know, it's like, you know, if you ever watch the streams of St. Louis, coming out of St. Louis, yeah. those cops are crazy there. You know, yesterday, they had a crowd of about 50 people, maybe maybe 100, maybe. Yeah. And the cops had riot shields, and they were carrying, you know, tear gas. Well, back in the day, you know, these huge protests, even against the, the Vietnam War, they weren't wearing that kind of, those kind of... Well, they didn't have it back in those days. Now they got all kinds of space, you know. Yeah, I mean, the, the militarization. People I think we live in a democracy is like... No, you, no, it's not a democracy. Either. Delusional. It's all about the one percent. You can't run for office unless you get a huge amount of money, and you can't get a huge amount of money unless you represent the one percent. Well, every time I've had a dealing with these guys right here, I think only once was I ever satisfied with their action. Uh -huh. right. That was only because the guy uh, I had to call the police. One of the rare times. Uh, that guy was beating up on uh, another girl, up, a woman. Yeah. 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 That's, not, that's not okay. No. Unfortunately, that's a very teeny percentage of what the cops do. Yeah, usually, that should be the primary thing the cops do. Yeah, usually around this neighborhood, uh, the cops are usually writing tickets for uh, open container. Exactly. exactly. Right? Sitting on the sidewalk. Trespassing. Yeah, yeah. 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 And this broken windows Game policing. Walking. That's a lot of bullshit. It is. Now they got this thing called predictive policing, which sounds like something out of a straight out of a science fiction book, where they actually think they can predict the crime. You know, they have an algorithm for it now. Now let's say we got the police military industrial complex. Absolutely. Right? And each one of these cops here in San Francisco makes about Take they home make, about a hundred thousand dollars a year, yeah, right? Yeah. And so for every the teacher make. Right, teachers make more like, or less. Yeah, forty thousand. Prison guards get paid like huge amounts of money. You know, oh, yeah, teachers get paid jack shit. It's a racket out here in California, folks. Yeah, so each one of these cops, you figure that's a hundred thousand dollars. It's not going in to feed people. Exactly. Take care of schools, yeah. keep our roads. Right, keep uni running. All, all the needs that really housing for people, you know. And you know, the San Francisco police, their pension, they have a special clause in their pension that guarantees that their pensions are going to be funded from now into an infinity, basically. No matter, no matter right, what yeah. happens to the, to the economy. Right, the people voted for it, too. Wow. So, but I think with, these, with all these killings that it's starting to become... Like, people are starting to get tired. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's triggered, you know, thoughts and feelings that we've had for a long time, but it's, it's, it's hit everybody now. I mean, the, if you had done, a, a, like, a, a survey five years ago, do you think there's still racism in America? I, the, I think the vast majority of people would have would have voted no. If you did it today, I think a much higher percentage would oh, yeah. say yes. Well, yeah. So that's the benefit of, of this. I moderate Protest. a lot of live streams, right? And you should see some of the ignorant shit that people put up on the live on the chat. Oh, it's yeah. Well, all you got to do is just go to SFHate or SFHate.com, as I like to call it. SFHate, right, yeah. The Chronicle website. Yeah. And you know, you can't believe anything mainstream media says. Oh no! You know? No way! No way! Right? They, they, what they do is they put a kernel of truth to something. It might have happened. How they can call it objective journalism when it's all bought and sold with advertising and commercials. Oh yeah, and all they do is um, basically they call up the police to get a statement and that's pretty much it. <laughs> and take the police at their word. Yeah. So we're here at Sixth and Market. Uh, this is kind of like what is known as the poor neighborhood in San Francisco. And again, we're in San Francisco. This is your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan. Because Black Lives Matter. Yeah, I'm excited. Some, some people in, from Ferguson are going to be coming. Uh, are actually here visiting. They're here, like, are they, they're probably here in this program? Yeah, for the next few weeks, yeah. Oh, okay. 
you know, I'm, I'm with the live streams where I can pretty much tell you most major cities in the country now. Like, I know my way around just yeah, watching live streams. <laughs> yeah, well, it's the only, pretty much the only good source of information. Undisputable. From real people. Right. And I always encourage not, people. Not propagandists. Yeah, you know, the live stream. Because everybody's got a smartphone. Come on, folks. So we're getting ready to, uh, we're approaching 7th and UN Plaza. This has to be the record number of cops that never come out ahead uh, of Maybe ahead of time. There's more cops busting up Occupy. Let me check out the chat here. Oh yeah, keep refreshing. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this down for a second, but I'll bring it